Hello gentle viewers. Hello, half a day, Merry Christmas. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm with my family in Davis, California, staying with my parents. And we just finished binge watching the second season of Making It on NBC. It's like a crafting competition show hosted by Amy Poehler and Nick Offerman. Basically where a bunch of different crafters or makers come from around the country and compete to see who can make the best crafts or the most unique and accessible crafts that anybody can make. So um, growing up, uh, my mom and I love to make crafts together. I actually we have, um, oh shoot, where did we put it? Especially around the holidays, we like to make crafts. And when I was a kid, I think I was like five or six year old, years old. I'm kind of asking my mom off camera. I used to make these little bookmarks. So like, here's one, this is my happy holidays. This one says Merry Christmas. This one's for Valentine's Day. So I just have a bunch of like little crafts I used to make for the holidays. One of the makers on the show did like a little video about how to do a photo booth for New Year's Eve. Just, you know, like one of those little frames you can hold and take pictures with that like a more real life prop. So we really like that idea and I wanted to roll with that and make something that I can wear to celebrate New Year's Eve with my family since it's 2020. So uh, in 2018, I started going to a, uh, oh. So in 2018, I started seeing a therapist regularly and I learned a lot uh, about myself and about, I guess, the mind and things like that through our sessions. And in 2019, I took a lot of time to incubate and um, be introspective and start thinking about how I could apply what I learned in therapy in my real life. And uh, it was, I mean, I didn't grow as much as I would have liked to professionally, but um, I think it was a good year for me just growing internally and uh, maturing a lot. 26, hopefully I'll be a little more mature at 27 next year. So to me, 2020 is a lot about blooming and coming out of my cocoon and hopefully growing our business a lot. Uh, Mega Haga Rising, it's my best friend Francesca and I started a brand together at the end of last year, kind of like at the beginning of this year. To symbolize that, I wanted to do, oh, I'm wearing a headband right now, but I wanted to make my own headband that'll say 2020 on it and have some of these uh, different elements of what I envision 2020's theme to be. We're gonna make some Gaosali, it's a flower endemic to Guam, which means native and you can't really find it anywhere else except for the Marion Islands, which is where I'm from. This is also the symbol of our brand and we even have tattoos with the Galsali on it. Francesca and I got these tattoos at the beginning of 2019 to symbolize our growth and blooming with our brand and also our friendship. <laughs> I'm gonna incorporate some Galsali onto my headband and also some branches. Obviously it's not real leaves, but you can totally use real leaves at home. I just, uh, it's winter here, so the greenery isn't the best. So we're gonna use these. Just kind of a bunch of crafts that, uh, some of them are from Michael's from a craft store. Some of them were just from home. And I really want this to be a project that anybody could just make at home, especially because this video is probably gonna come out right before New Year's Eve. So I want it to be something you can make on the fly with just kind of stuff that you have around the house. So you won't really need any fancy materials to make this headband. I want it to be something easy, but you know, a little bit of a fun challenging craft too because it's a little challenging for me. I'm a little nervous to make this on camera because I still haven't done it all the way through. So we're just gonna be kind of experimenting along the way. Basically all you need is a headband. I used to have some headbands that I didn't use. So my mom uh, probably like donated them but I got this at Michael's, the craft store. If you have headbands, I feel like most women or girls have headbands kind of lying around the house that you don't really use anymore, especially because in eighth grade, headbands were a really big thing for me back in like 2017, or no, not 2017, 20. 2007. Oh, um, yeah, just need a headband. A plain headband would be best. I like this one because it has, it's kind of like a thick-ish band, so there's a little more room to play with on top and to, be the foundation for the materials that we're gonna decorate with. So you need a headband, some ribbon. Since it was just the holidays, you could probably use the ribbon that you used for your gifts if you have any. This one I got at Michael's, the craft store. They're having like a crazy sale of all the Christmas materials. So this was probably only like a dollar. It wasn't very much ribbon, but just enough to make it one headband. You'll also need some wire wrap. Um, maybe you have like wire at home. This is like one of those wires that you use to wrap around like a cord when you get an electronic device and it just like comes with it. Usually I like throw those things away or just kind of keep them in a drawer with like random stuff. So you can use this or maybe any other kind of wire or paper clip that you have at home. You're gonna need some scissors for cutting. You need a glue stick or glue, whatever you have. If you have a glue gun, that would be even better because uh, I, I don't personally own a glue gun, but this is, I'm staying with my mom and she loves having like 
craft materials, so luckily we have this. Also, you'll need some paper for the gausali, the flowers. I'm just gonna use some like old calendar paper. This is from my stepdad's daily cat picture calendar, so it's a good use of these papers. Also some glitter paper. I got this at Michael's too, nice and shimmery. This is like a gold glitter paper and this one is a champagne colored paper. I'm not gonna use this one as much because it kind of looks like cardboard on camera and you know, we're really gonna go for that wow factor. Uh, wow factor is something to say a lot of making it. So this is just gonna be kind of like the back uh, shadow for the glitter paper. If you don't have glitter paper, uh, I mean, I don't think most people just have glitter paper on hand, but I bought these only for maybe like a dollar to a dollar fifty each at Michael's, so you can get some at a craft store. If not, then you can totally just color with whatever markers or maybe like construction paper you have at home. That can definitely work too. So that's it for our materials and let's make it. party like it's 2002. I realized that it's gonna be kind of hard to put to the flowers in. I don't really want to glue gun it or anything like that because I don't want to ruin the paper. So my mom suggested sewing it. So I think I'm going to just put like string through it and a needle go through and then kind of like weave it into the leaves here. I mean, now that I'm doing this, it's starting to look kind of more like a basic Coachella flower crown from like 2014 or something like that. But this also reminds me a lot of Marmars. They're basically like lays for your hair uh, that we make across the Pacific uh, in Micronesia. Usually we use different flowers that you can find locally, but since it's winter out here in California, I have to make do with what I have, which is recycled paper. 
I think these Gausali, paper Gausali look really cute in here. I actually got the idea to make paper Gausali from my friend Senorita Victoria Guiao. She's a Chamorro teacher on Guam. I met her when I was still working as a reporter and she was a dance instructor, Chamorro dance instructor. She's also a school teacher who makes decorations for her classroom. And this year, I think it was this year or last year, she made paper Gausali. So I thought that was really cool to put indigenous flowers into the classroom, especially Chamorro class. And I thought, it would be cute to do it here. We're gonna try sewing these in, but so far I think it's starting to look really cute. What do you guys think? And there you have it. <laughs> I think it looks pretty good. This one's still a little bit loose, but I'm gonna save that for future Chloe to worry about. But overall, I think it looks really cute. It turned out basically the way I wanted it to, so I'm really happy with it. And I hope this tutorial was helpful for anybody who wants to make it at home, just kind of like a quick, well, honestly, it wasn't that quick. It took me like a few hours to make this and like conceptualize it, but it was still a lot of fun. I had to have two cups of coffee to make it through uh, recording all this too. So if you end up making this craft, please let me know. I'd love to see what you come up with or if you make any other new year crowns, I'd love to see them. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you have a happy new year. Bye.